hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to connect Godaddy server through Visual Studio FTP and publish MVC application on a remote host I'm tapping my domain name HTTP host and servers.com is my domain name and see the message we got forbidden you don't have permission to access this document which means right now in this domain I don't have any files before uploading the MVC website first let's log into my GoDaddy account we'll check the root domain what files I have in my domain after I log into my GoDaddy hosting account, the file manager for hostandservers.com and these folders are the default folders comes with the hosting provider. And HTTP docs is the main folder we can we have to upload our files in this folder HTTP docs. And notice here in my root directory HTTP docs I don't have any files. Let's upload my ASP.NET MVC application in this HTTP docs folder. And one more important thing we need to set the ASP.NET settings of GoDaddy. In the hosting settings, click the ASP.NET settings. In ASP.NET configuration for website, come to the bottom. See here the code access security CAS trust level make it full click ok by default it will be in the medium level now it's time to upload now it's time to publish my MVC application through Visual Studio FTP I just open Microsoft Visual Studio go to solution explorer display records this is a project I want to publish in my GoDaddy HTTP docs this is very simple project let's open the index.cshtml what's the output build the solution build succeeded let's run the program we'll check the output how it looks on my local host and this is the output of that project on my local host let's flip back to my ASP.NET application go to solution explorer right click the display iPhone records the publish option click on it when we want to publish a website on a remote server through Visual Studio we need to create a profile so choose the option create new see here there are many options but choose the second option IIS FTP etc click publish In custom profile, we need to set up the server site name, username, and password as well as the destination URL. The first thing, the publish method is FTP. The server name is a. Uh, I'm adding my server name. The site part is the root directory, which is HTTP docs. The username, my FTP username. And the password, the FTP password, the destination URL is the my domain name. Click validate. Here the connection is validate. Click next. Expand the file publish options. Choose all and click save. It will prompt the logon to FTP server, but cancel this one. Notice here in the publish, the custom profile just now we have created our account. Click publish password. Click OK. Now the files are transferring from local to the remote side. After published it successfully into the remote server, 
the domain will automatically open on a browser hostandservers.com and this is the first step we need to fix let's flip back to my godaddy account I'm refreshing the folder see here the files are added now open the web.config file in the web.config file come to the bottom click the editing text editor come to the system.web add this custom errors mode is equals to off and as well as and trust level is equals to full come to the bottom save the file click ok now here we got the information the file was successfully saved let's open my domain again I'm refreshing the page and again we got one more error this program is blocked by group policy so we need to fix this one also which is very simple go to again the web.config file of your remote server notice here system.code.dom the compiler section delete that one save ok again the file was successfully saved let's again refresh my domain I'm reloading the page now here we got the output on my real domain host and servers.com that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos